Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good time zone. Wherever you are, I hope you are having a wonderful time. We're back in Dragoon World. Uh, let's see. So we'll be starting off in Denigrad. I think that we just found out that the queen was kidnapped by Lloyd. And that's what the mission is today, to see if we can't get to that point in the story. I'm here with my coffee. I just finished making it. Uh, hello, Mr. Watts. Welcome in, friend. I hope you're having a good day. I just saw you over there in Zephy's room. And she's playing Animal Crossing. Uh, let's see, other announcements. Uh, oh, I was using my video editing software today. I'm working on the rewards still. Uh, so you'll see changes to those throughout the week. Sadly, I don't have like a dedicated time I can work on them until this weekend. So I probably won't get a whole lot done until after Saturday. Uh, besides that, we had a lovely night last night playing KOTOR. I'm probably going to be adding that permanently to um, the Tuesday-Friday lineup because I'm having a lot of fun personally playing that game, and it seems everybody in the community is enjoying seeing it again. And Legend of Mana is currently on pause, sadly. I will probably reschedule that maybe on a Sunday, because I don't do much on Sunday evenings, so I may start putting it on Sunday evenings to try and get through it, because the community did vote for me to see, to finish that game, so I do want to finish it at some point. Besides that, I think I'm going to switch over so we can see our screen. We're on our wonderful chatting screen. <laughs> the Ledger Jagoon music. Love it. I don't know why. It's the only menu music that I've ever played a game in, and I just never get tired of it. There's our team. All right, I think I've got my scene switched over. It looks like the volume's working. Let me make sure. This would not be the first time I started a stream and muted. No. Appears I can see the voices moving. Ah, and we're in the broken down hotel. Uh, nothing happens if we talk to her, right? Yeah, because we did the whole cut scene where we said we were going to uh, get together. Uh, Lloyd kidnapped... The Queen, Queen Thracia, I think is her name. We saved. I think everybody was healed right before we got off. I'm going to check. Yes. So my team is healed. Uh, it's a very oddball team, but I'm having fun with it. And hey, they beat the Divine Dragon, so that's something. I believe we also... We did most of the items, too, and the only Stardust left, uh, you know, before we get too heavy into where we're supposed to be going, I will look that, I'm going to pull up the page I'm using. As I said, in games, I try not to use uh, too many little strategy guides and walkthroughs, especially for games like this one. I've beat it a few times, but it was ages ago. And I really, really want to get to the uh, bonus boss fight. Or extra boss fight, hidden boss fight. Not really sure how you refer to it. And yes, on this disc, there should only be one more. I'll try to find it myself, but I've got it set there just in case I get lost. Also not unusual for me. Hello, Angry. How are you doing, friend? Good morning. Uh, well, good afternoon to you. Good morning from me, though. <laughs> Angry Mod, poor reporting in. Salute. How is Angry doing today? I hope your evening was well, friend. Do, do, do. By the way, I love your new heart emote. <laughs> I was kind of glad that I finally have a heart emote from your channel. I always wondered if you were going to get one. Oh, you're waiting on your Switch games? Oh, I saw the, uh, I saw the Discord post. So, congratulations, you got a Switch. 
Now you'll be able to enjoy all those lovely classics on the NES and Super Nintendo. I'm actually considering Angry signing up for their, uh, is, even though it's freaking expensive. Uh, I'm thinking of signing up for their Expansion Plus so that I can play the Genesis. Being able to return to the Genesis games would be fun. Uh, Animal Crossing with Emmy. Yeah, I'm going to try and get Animal Crossing is on my list of games to get. And that would be fun for us all to be in Animal Crossing. Uh, heck no, they're really easy to emulate. Uh, I should say they're, you should say they're kind of easy to emulate. It depends on your setup. I, like I said, I'm tempted. I may look into it mainly for the ease of use. The fact that I can just boot up the Switch and put the game on and not have to worry about glitches. Or as many glitches. Oh yeah, it's not the problem of graphics. It's just, it does eat RAM in the background of the computer I'm using. And I don't fully trust emulators. Since technically you're supposed to own the game that you're playing. And my Sega Genesis collection is rather slim. I still have a couple cartridges laying around, but not very many. I don't think I need any of this. Okay, we did load up on this because I have a charm potion. I'm actually going to get two of those because I believe we have a long ways to run. And as far as weapons and equipment goes, there's, there's only one piece that I would be really interested in getting. Also, I'm... The menu. Can I run with the D-pad so I can quit using... I want to check something. Morph, sound, vibrate, note. Nope. I was kind of hoping that I could actually turn the uh, joysticks off. Since they're not working correctly. Oh, we do have new additions to learn. I do remember that as well. It does munch on the RAM. Yeah, the RAM, the CPU. Um, and when I'm pulling from a capture card, that's about half the amount of power I need to put out on the computer, which leaves me free for interacting with the audience. There's pros and cons to both. The Expansion Plus, in my opinion, is very, very overpriced. Uh, Nintendo is price gouging on that. I don't know why, but... There's no reason for them to be asking the fee that they're asking for games that are over 30 years old. And they don't even have a very good library right now. So, apologies if Nintendo somehow sees my VOD randomly, but you guys should take the advice that that should have been a $15 add-on, not a $60 add-on. I would have gladly given them $10, $15, more a month for that but to recharge me almost a hundred dollars a year for something where I'm getting 10 video games that's not great I'm trying to do this map figure out my directions yeah it's back up to the glacier first time that we'll be in an ice area oh geez we do have quite a trip Uh, the announcement was one of YouTube's most disliked videos. Heh, <laughs> that's probably why YouTube, uh, pulled down the dislike button. Well, they didn't pull it down, but now the, uh, developers can hide their dislikes, which is a little... weird. I'm not one to typically get on topics of, uh, business practices for companies. But when I do see a company overcharging for something as simple as 30-year-old games, that's a little upsetting. Okay, so the new move is going to take me a bit to get used to. Hold on, let's try that again with her. I don't like these guys, though, so stop. I'll check that out, Angry. I didn't know that it was one of the most disliked. Might go and add my uh, opinion to that. Oh, Kongle has a new one. 
Let's see if I do that one. Oh, jeez. Okay, that one's gonna take me a minute to get used to. That's long. Oh, jeez. Okay, so Kongles just, like, pauses for a good, like, two or three seconds. I'll have to get used to that. Uh, it looks like it'll be very strong, though. It's just gonna take me a bit to get used to it. Maybe I shouldn't go into a new area with new skills. Now I'm nervous. <laughs> Ooh, a shiny right off the bat. That's probably just an item. Uh, Muru's not even dressed for this. We'll just ignore what they're wearing. They all have coats. <sighs> what a cold place. I pierces through my aged bones. It is a land where the earth is eternally covered under ice. I understand that it must be harsh on someone who has never been here. Darn, I'm totally dying. Do you often visit such a place, Miranda? It's been a while since I came all the way here. But I would often come here to find solace for my loneliness. You've got such a kind mother like Queen Teresa. How could you have a lonely time? Her Majesty Teresa is not my birth mother. My true birth mother abandoned me. After that, I met Her Majesty Teresa. Her Majesty cherished me when I was alone as if I were her real daughter. Since then, I have never felt loneliness again. Just a little segue for uh, the Miranda. I think I actually, am I sliding on the ice? I think I am. I don't remember that. A thunderbolt, I'll take it. I'll allow a few battles to go through. We have two charm potions in case it gets really annoying. And... Mm, didn't miss anything angry. Thankfully, uh, I've been trying out the ad manager. So at least now when something important is going to happen, I have control over that. They allow me to stop the ad three times during a stream. It's actually pretty useful. I don't know why I never tried it before. I guess because I just don't like ads and I thought using it would uh, put ads on the station. And then I found out from Scenaris told me that no, I was getting ads even though I had it turned off. And I was like, oh, well, maybe there's a way to control them. A mammoth? Why am I taking down poor mammoths? Leave me alone. Yes. Okay, I didn't want to hurt you, but I guess I'm going to have to. Oh, geez, her new ability. Ah, it starts off really quick. Alright, Kongo, let's see if we can get this right. Almost. I have to learn to wait on Kongles. Hers is just so quick. Oh, jeez. It's going to take me forever to learn that. Uh, Wooly Mammoth has a lot of hit points. Oh, my gosh. No, oh, no, no, no. Poison. If it does poison, that's not good. I don't have anything to get rid of that. Oh, it's a stun. Stun's fine. I thought I had that. Got it! Because Cool Boogie is really good. So if I can master that, uh, Maru actually starts turning into a damage dealer, which is nice. That thing had like a thousand hit points. It's like a boss. Wow. 
Okay, do not underestimate the mammoth. You run a short one every hour? Yeah, typically on break, I run them to turn off the, uh, what is it called? The pre-roll. Okay, Wooly Mammoth is a serious foe. And I am, yeah, we are sliding a little bit. There's like a little slide thing going on. I'll probably use a charm potion to get out of this. <gasps> a heat blade? Yes, please. Dart's been needing a new weapon. I think that's a dart weapon, pretty sure. They're normally elemental named for the character. Mind Crush hasn't been all that great. Ooh, it's weaker than Mind Crush. Uh, that's sad. I think it's weaker by a good bit. So, is the fire damage it does... Oh, no, 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 no. The fire damage cannot possibly be... Oh, that's sad. Unless somebody else can have it. That's not very good. No, I think it's just for Dart. It's just a weapon. It's a sword, right? Let me see. Yep. Okay, so... That was a sad find. That won't help us in the least. I'm going to use a charm potion real quick. Because it's going to take me a second to get all the way out of that. Try to cut down on random encounters. Until I get up the hill bit. Oh wait, how do we get all the way back down and around there? Well, that's interesting. Do we go up? There's a chest. Meteor fall. Those aren't too bad. Okay, maybe we should have just loaded up on charm potions. They keep wanting to attack me here. Be nice if that lasted more than two seconds. It just erases the uh, encounter, the current encounter rate. All right, not that way. I want to get all the shinies while I can. I think I see it. It's right there. Wow, that potion did nothing for me. <laughs> oh well, at least we used them up. This is fine. This is completely fine and normal. Uh, we have to fight ice spiders too. Oh boy. While I'm learning a new skill. Ah. Uh, the speed on that is just very awkward. I think dart should be very effective here though, because they're fire. So, here, that'll help. Let me get that angle changed. Ah, that's going to be very satisfying when I get that one mastered. And that one will be really good once it's mastered, but... Oh, I thought I had it. That white on white. Ah, I can't see it. I'm going to have to change angles again. Oh, really, mister? I'm ice. No blocky. Yeah, I can't afford to lose the damage on that sword. It's already kind of low. I was hoping that flame blade would be higher. Oh, a spirit potion. Wasn't that interesting? You can farm spirit potions here. wonder what else they drop. The drop rate in this game is fairly bad, so... Sign say. Uh, to the right, the Tower of Fennel. Uh, up to the snow field. Warning, slide. Oh... There's a warning about that one. A heavy mace. Hmm. That sounds like a Maru weapon. Maru does like hammers and clubs. 
Let's see if we strike out on this one as well. I hope not. Oh, no, no, no. That's very good. Stuns enemy with a given probability. Way better than her Warhammer that does nothing. And the damage is really good. Yeah, we'll take that. Ooh, that's really useful. I'm glad we went out of our way. I almost didn't. Let me go down around. I saw merchants or something here. And also shinies. In most video games, I'm very easily distracted by chests and items. Uh, well, those look like they're trouble. Nothing else. Rocky Turtle. Let's see what that new weapon does. Nothing if I can't get that correct. Yeah, they're very physically resistant. Should have known. Oh, we almost got to it. It's three, isn't it? Magic users, no. <laughs> uh, if they don't put status effects on me, I won't be too upset. Oh, just the speed of this move. I thought our first one wasn't uh, bad, but that one's going to get me. Oh, please, turtles. Everything in the ice area has a lot of hit points. Please, Muro, let me hit. I don't know. I'm hitting it too soon, and I don't understand that. It must be something to do with the animation. And that felt like it was going to go. Yes. Yes. I think they reward a lot of XP though, so it shouldn't be too bad. Matter of fact, just so we don't take a whole bunch of damage while we're trying this out. I should have done that as soon as it went down. Might as well stop it for a few turns. I've got to wait just a few seconds. And this white background is actually being very difficult on my eyes. Yes. That's another reason I keep messing up everybody's. I'm almost guessing. It's going to take a while. Oh, there we go. First time I got Inferno. Still can't move. Oh, dart. They took a lot of the damage in the beginning. I can't get worse. I've done it, but this, this background. I keep hitting it too soon. Of course, she did just stun it. And strangely enough, I can see darts. Ah, that's so weird. So Maru's, for some reason, is like lighter color and it's blending in. Maybe it's the angle I'm at. Maybe if I look at it from an above down. Hello, Freya. How are you doing this morning, friend? I hope well. Welcome in. We're doing some Dragoon. I have new additions on my characters, and I'm not doing quite well. Not as well as I could be, I guess. Uh, let me see what the two merchants say. Peddler Brother Sojourno. Customers? There's really customers here. I cannot believe it, Brother Sojourno. Oops, sorry. I forgot about you momentarily. I sell weapons, and I sell items, and we are peddlers. It must be fate meeting you here. It's such a chance. Uh, why don't you buy something? Come on, think of it as a charity. Well, you don't have to push me. I like looking at stores. 
Hello, Nikki. Welcome in. Thank you for the lurk, friend. Inquisitor Nem. Hello. Good afternoon to you, friend. Thank you for getting shout-outs. Uh, you're sleepy, but good. Get some coffee, Freya. Wake up. <laughs> it's 10 o'clock. Time to wake up. It's funny, we were just talking about how underpowered I am, and now they're like, here's a weapon. A battle axe. Flame Burge. Virulent arrow. Ooh. Poison. Saint's robe. A robe. A guard badge. <gasps> this, I kind of need a guard badge for Kongol. This would be really good for Kongol. That would be nice for them. The physically attacked SP is accumulated. Hmm, I don't know how well that'll work. I don't use Miranda, or I'd get that arrow. That looks really good, though. Currently, we are using Kongol. So, I would say definitely get this. Uh, don't arm, because I want to check something. Mind crush, we don't need that. Guard badge. Wow, I don't want to spend a thousand, but I'm going to get it. Uh, the regular robe is not very good. It would only be good for Miranda. Uh, lowers her magic defense. And at this stage in the game, I do not want my magic defense lowered. Unless somebody else has a better idea. Thank you for cleaning those gears. I might have to adjust the sound effect. At least it worked about as well as I'd hoped. I don't know why it flashes green. I haven't figured that out yet. I need to experiment with my uh, video editing software. But thank you for cleaning the gears and making them shiny. <gasps> Ooh, I can just buy charm potions. Oh. I'm actually gonna buy a bunch of these because I'm getting a lot of fights I don't want to. Say hello to my other brothers at the other place. Oh, there must be another location. Gears of Love, yes. Hello, John. Welcome in, friend. Today is like the first day in over a month since both my kids were in school and I can relax. <laughs> uh, man, that B being capitalized uh, bothers me. <laughs> Oh, what, on the brothers? Oh, no, in your name. John, we're at these guys, and I was trying to figure out what's the best equipment to get. Taking a moment to sort that out. We did buy a couple of new pieces. I need to check this against what I have. Oh yeah, because we only had chainmail. That's a big improvement for Dart. Okay, we'll take it. And Kongol. I bought them a weapon. I think this is better. Yes, the tomahawk doesn't do anything. Okay, because we can just sell it. And I'm going to go ahead and put that guard badge on because they take so much damage. I'll see if that helps a little bit. And was that it? I didn't buy Miranda's. Although I have to say a poison arrow would be very nice. Uh, winter break, then the ice breakout. Then my daughter had to get COVID test. It was wild. Yes, John, you've been kind of busy. Well, enjoy your relaxation, friend.
Yeah, I've decided I'm gonna go ahead. We'll probably go broke. But after seeing the improvement on some of these, um, I'm gonna go ahead and arm the characters with these just in case we end up having to use them. I'll buy her the robe and equip her. I mean, if we need money, we'll just sell some equipment. <clears throat> uh, Premier Owen. <clears throat> there's another set of brothers. That's good to know, though. That means there's more, uh... Oh, it would figure that I just did that. And, uh, I can't pick up whatever that is. I thought I left a spot. I'll just use it to get rid of it. Here we go. Ooh, that's a good move for here. I'm glad I found that. Hello, Morgan. Welcome in, friend. I hope your day is going well. Or good changeling, friend. See if they cause any mischief. They say they're lurking, but I, I know sometimes they pop in anyway. Okay, I have no... Which is the better way to go? Do I go down through here? Or do I go up? Okay, I'm confused, John. I'm not really sure which direction to take. I don't want to get cut off. There was another path that went straight up. Let me go there. Uh, thank you for the hydrate, Nim. I've got a drink called Replenishment that I get at 7-Eleven on my way home sometimes. It's just basically vitamin enhanced water. It's very good though. That will be my hydration for the day. I feel I'm needing some vitamins. Uh, do, 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 do. And walking through the snow has been taking it out of me at night when I go to work. Hold. According to my memory, The Tower of Avos should be this way. Oh, we're not allowed to go this way? Okay, I can't... I'm not allowed to go that way. You heard her. Can't go that direction. Oh! Monsters, leave me alone! I'd like it if I could hotkey. There, there's a memo. Somebody tell the people who are remaking this game, make it so that we could hotkey charm potions. There needs to be a quick use. Oh, this white on white background. It hurts my eyes. I can't see the the square. I'm going to try and change the angle. Maybe it's just that. Let me see if above. I doubt this, but we're going to try it. Oh, 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 oh. My controller is goofing up again. That's nice. How about no? I'd like to disable the, the joypad. I gotta say, you have a lovely and calming voice. Happy to have been misplaced in dimensions to build something here. Thank you, Mr. Watts. Yes, eh, it was a happy accident. I mean, one that's preventing me from going home, but at the same token... Uh, not much time will have passed there by the time I fix everything up and get back. That's the lovely thing about interdimensional travel. <laughs> so, I feel that I'm just on pause here. No! That messed me up. I got it! Oh, Okay, that was exciting because I didn't think I got it, and then I did. <laughs> Almost. Now, at least the new weapons are panning out. 
But thank you for the kind words, Mr. Watts. I much appreciate them. Uh, let's see if we can do it again. No. <laughs> this this coloring is bad. I need that uh, the targeting square to be a different color. Okay, I got that one okay. I'm gonna say no to this thing because it keeps hurting me. I'm trying to keep my hit points up while I'm testing out my new additions. No magic casting. No. You cannot. Oh, jeez. Okay, hers getting blocked in the middle is making me not like Cool Boogie. I don't remember it being blocked that often. And Inferno's not doing much. Hmm. Let's see if we can stun it. <laughs> no. Uh, at least she can stun now. Even more of a menace is Maru. Close. No cigar, though. Ah, so many hit points here, too. The Woolly Mammoth had like, I think it was 850 is what I'm going to guess. That was a lot of hit points for a regular monster. XP is good. Uh, jamming to these tunes, I don't know how old this game is. They hired the best musical artist uh, to this game, and I think the remake will not do it justice. Welcome in, Zombie Medic. Thank you for the hydrate. Uh, yes, the music in this game is one of my favorites, Mr. Watts. This game was released in 2000 in North America. It was actually one of the very first games that I pre-ordered. Wait. I went... No! I went the wrong way. <laughs> I hope it was well. Yes, all is well, medic. Thank you for checking. And thank you for stopping in. Where did I go that was wrong? Uh, why do I feel like I played it in the 90s? The late 90s. Uh, well, because a lot of... Um, I could understand that because a lot of... It was the turn of the century and a lot happened. And also, if you remember right, between 1998 and 99, a whole bunch of RPGs with this similar look and style uh, kind of flooded the game market. Oh, that doesn't do much even when I successfully do it. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to stop one of them because they're both ganging up on me. I'm not going to get it in one turn anyway, so might as well stop the other one from moving. I will get Maru correct. Oh, almost. I'll get back to it in just a second. These new moves are really doing my hands in. Okay, at least Dart did something to it. I keep hitting it too soon. Oh good, it's fighting its friend. That's fine. Nope, blocked. Ow. Yep. 
so many hit points. There we go. It's odd how time works. True human memories can get blurred together. Uh, yes. So you were probably... Because I do that too. A lot of games in 98 and, and towards the latter half of 99 were... They looked very similar to this, and the PlayStation 1 was extremely popular. So if you were playing a lot of games in that timeline, it would be very easy to think, oh yeah, I played Dragoon back in the late 90s. But it actually came out and was mostly being played towards the turn of the century. It's also one of those games that didn't get really popular at launch. It got more popular as time went by. That's probably why Sony gave up on it. it. It didn't become a smash hit at launch. It took a while. But they were heavily competing against the Final Fantasy series. Maru! I just can't get her move. This one's bugging me. I think I'd have been okay if we had trained it up outside of the frozen area. Yep, yep, those blocks are going to be too much for me. I'm probably going to switch back to the other one. I love the additions in this game, but some parts of it can get frustrating. Like the, uh, the snow area is giving me trouble. I can't see what's going on. For some reason, her move is lighter than darts. Got it that time. I feel like the random battles here are taking as long as the boss fight. Ooh. Oh my god, that is incredible laughing at it. Sony, you were ahead of your time and now lagging behind. Uh, Sony had some, you know, pretty innovative times. The PlayStation 1 being one of them. Uh, the whole, the story of the PlayStation 1 is actually... Well, they did a whole documentary on it, if I remember correctly. Uh, they weren't ever going to make their own system. Uh, for those of you who don't know this little bit of history, Sony actually didn't want to get into the uh, console war. They were going to make computer parts for the other companies. In short, the long, long story short, uh, they were going to partner with Nintendo. And there was a PR... What would you call it? <clears throat> we'll just call it a mix-up. There was a very bad PR mix-up, and Nintendo went ahead and published with a different company after saying that they might work with Sony. Uh, Sony, in retaliation, was kind of... What would you call it? They were embarrassed by Nintendo uh, for not taking up the offer. And so Sony decided, well, if you're going to be that way, we're going to go ahead and take our technology and make our very own console. And thus the PS1 was born. I'm not even sure Sony thought that they would be in the race this long. <laughs> I think it was done as a one-off and ended up turning into something much more. And don't get me wrong, I think all the companies uh, bring very interesting technology to the table. So, I don't really have a whole lot of bias towards one company or another. All of them over the years have added something to consoles. The fights are kind of kicking my butt, so I'm trying to keep charm potions around for a little while. I'm going to go ahead and erase that. I'm probably wasting more time than the fights, but the fights in this area are kind of, um, they're just bugging me. It's hard to see the screen. It's so bright. I can't remember what the documentary is called, but I do know that there is a very good documentary about 
the console wars between uh, the Genesis, Nintendo, and PlayStation, or Sony. Looks like I'm on track to get an item. I don't know what it is. Can't carry any more items. Well, drat. I didn't want to use a charm potion. I guess I have to. I want to see what all these items are. Oh, well, it resets the risk encounter, so... Uh, yeah, I guess that's worth it. I need some more spells, and we used up most of them. Jeez, how would we climb up ice? I don't think that's possible. Maybe I'm wrong. Up. Over. I think I can see the path. We'll go here. Ooh. What's this? A phoenix plume. Okay. That's interesting. I don't remember that name. Is it a weapon or a... Oh! It's a helmet. Avoids bewitching, confusion, fear, and dispiriting. Wow. That's a good helmet. Of course, you pay the price for all your stats. Hmm. Who can wear it? Anyone? Probably. Well, that's not great. Let's see if Kongle can wear it. Maybe it's better. Uh, let's see. When magically attacked, SP is accumulated. And this goes to 238. How much? 220? You only lose 10 points to get no uh, bewitching, confusion, fear, or dispiriting. And it also raises the magic defense. And we're kind of trying to fix that on Kongol. So, might take that. We can always try it. I just have to remind myself not to sell the Giganto Helm. Our poor friend there takes a lot of damage. <clears throat> handy. Yes, it's a very handy item. I'll try it out. Ah, save. The infamous looking for a save spot. If I could quit sliding through it. been a little slow up to this point. There's probably going to be... Somebody can correct me. I think I'm at a boss fight. And if I'm at a boss fight, then I might switch my additions back to... Uh, you, you can you can call me a baby, but I'm going to be switching back because we're failing so bad on this. I'm going to go back to Hammer Spin in Pursuit. Because those moves are very much so annoying me. <laughs> so I'm just going to stick to this so we can win. Uh, when Dingo time. Okay, thank you, John, for reminding me. Uh, matter of fact, before before I do the boss fight... I'm going to take a break so we don't have to interrupt this next segment. And that way I can disable pre-rolls in the other. So I highly encourage everybody who's been sitting here, it has been just shy of an hour, to get up, hydrate, stretch. Stretching is very useful, but uh, shouldn't play games more than an hour or so. Or sit and watch TV for more than an hour with getting up and stretching. Uh, and I will be back momentarily after I fill my coffee and do a quick stretch.
Okay, I'm back. Hopefully everybody had a good break. <laughs> Wall of emotes. Ah, let's continue our journey. I think everybody's got their additions replaced. We saved. Uh, John says it's a Wendigo fight, so we will see. Oh, yep. I could hear something in the background. I thought it was a monster. Well, I've got spells. I have Dragoon power. Uh, let's see. Where do I go? Is there anything hidden here? No. Oh, you gotta go up this ramp. Right. And then over here to get the item. Oh, Congo, just go after it. Go get it, Kongo. What? Kongo feels monsters angry about we entered here. They cannot imagine why they are thinking to live in such a cold place. Monster don't know coldness. Monster only knows how to kill. It wants to kill us. Mm, thank you, but no thank you. Here it comes. Okay, I could totally see, like, Kongol going hand-to-hand -hand with a big, uh, Wendigo. Yep, got the boss music, so it's something. <gasps> ooh, ooh. Uh, that's a big, big, big scary, uh, boss thing. We can't escape it. We can't do that. I can use my special, but I don't think I'm gonna use it on her. So before we change... Let me do something to try and balance out the uh, the power here. Dart's probably the best one to keep fast. Yep, because they need to go. I, I have an idea. I have an idea. I can do this. I just need Dart to get up next. Haha, -ha, there we go. And then we can rebuild our Dragoon points very quickly. And watch John's gonna come in in two seconds and be like, No, don't turn into Dragoon! <laughs> and all my guys get waylaid. Because this seems to be a reoccurring theme. Do you really believe your own hype that much? I am the hype! It's just one thing. Okay, there's no reason to use that. I could probably get more damage with just the uh, final burst. <laughs> Hello, <I'm here. laughs> yeah, I was just expecting you to pop it and be like, No! Don't do Dragoon! Don't do it! <laughs> Thank you for the hype, Mr. Watt. Hopefully we are hyped. We can do this. Let's see if we can have a proper boss fight. Uh, Allah, that's me. Destroying it very quickly, hopefully. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, I was right. I had a feeling Dart was going to be menacing. <laughs> Hence why I hit the speed up. I was like, go Dart, you can do this. I was just going to say, Maru shouldn't take any damage from that. <laughs> like, at all. Uh, her spells, though, will... Mm. Her spells probably don't do anything. Well, let's test it. For science, I like seeing this animation anyway. Uh, I have a feeling it's not going to do anything to an ice creature. I have the extra mana, though, so might as well do a test. Yeah, that didn't do anything. I imagine her Dragoon attack is far stronger at this point. Now, Dart, on the other hand, is like, oh, geez, just going to... I have to get him more mana. That's okay. I'm sure we'll build up Dragoon in no time with that. At least I can get some really solid damage on him early. Go, go, Dragoon. 
I know I could turn the animations off, but I love the animations for the Dragoons. You just don't get to see them enough. Yes, uh, most of the mobs in the game have pretty high magic resistance, especially later on. Unless you match up the... Um, I probably shouldn't even bother, should I? Or do you want to see it for science? I want to see it for science. But yeah, they're pretty resistant. Like, I'm... Kongol's not going to do anything. Don't expect anything here. But we'll get to see the really cool meteor animation. Now, there's a challenge for you, John. Make Kongol useful, please. <laughs> and then tell me how to do it. <laughs> no, bigger challenge. Make Kongol a magic caster. <laughs> Boy, it looks cool. Didn't do much, though. I mean, it was better than Muru's. So I can't complain or argue. Okay, we're just going to do a Dragoon attack straight out. A perfect Dragoon attack. Let's see what that does. Smash! Yippee! Oh, <laughs> Yippee! It's always great that she's like, Yippee. she's so happy. Oh, geez, it's still blue. Oh, geez, oh, geez. Yeah, I know, all my attacks are very weak right now. I think the smart move was what we did, was making sure Dart was very quick for this match. We're going to rely heavily on Dart. Yeah, Dart is on point for uh, ice attacks, or fire attacks versus ice. It's not, you know, but look at its health, it's still standing. I would have thought I would have crushed it by now. Maru's going to probably heal us after this. I forgot how damaged we were. Uh, so let's just go ahead. Since she's not doing much damage, I figure the best, uh, best best thing to do is to... Let's just take the opportunity to heal. We'll get our points back soon enough. But this is a free heal all, so might as well take it. Uh, because before the boss fight, we actually forgot to heal. <laughs> I should have stopped in a random fight, right? And done my stall tactic. That's okay, we'll do it now. Dart might have enough for one, maybe? I don't know. And actually it works that she's out of Dragoon because she can help us. Yeah, I got Flame Shot. We might as well use it. All the fire damage is working. Might as well use the mana. I'll toss them a potion in a minute. Flame oh yeah, flame shot was doing a thousand. I probably should have just spam that the whole time. Uh, that's okay. I actually uh, Dart does have one more. <gasps> oh, they can cast one more spell. They can cast one more. Completely recovers magic. Uh, MP for all. I'm actually just going to throw this at Dart. One more Dragoon attack for Dart. That's probably going to be good. Let's try Kongol's main ability. Perfect. Kongol smash. Oh, 753. Yeah, that's not horrible. Uh, the addition will also have fire damage. Yes! But I did load him up on... I think I get one more spell out of dark, so might as well use it. 
Oh, cheaty boss getting to go twice. Then again, we get to go three times, so. Yeah. Well, the magic defense is working on Kongol. They're not, you know, just outright getting blown up. Oh, I got something for you. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Where is it? This one. Actually, Muro's probably going to take it out. She might take it out with this. I didn't even think of that. Oh, well. The boss fight's dragged on a long time. Or will Dart get the finishing touch here? Nope, Dart's going to get it. I'm just going to use the max one since we have the mana. I might as well throw it. It's a good looking spell. There might be people here who haven't seen that last spell. Boom! Rocket Dragon! <laughs> oh yeah, that did it. It was worth it. It was worth it. Go Dart! Ah, for once the fire damage was completely useful if we got Brass Knuckles. Uh, a lot of XP. The gold's not great, but that's okay. It made up for one of the items we bought. Yay! Finally a boss fight where I was able to go full Dragoon. That makes me very happy. And Congo and Maru are finally getting some levels. They've been behind. Oh no, Moonstrike. Everybody's leveling. Very good. I'm glad everybody leveled. Uh, do you see that? Our crew doesn't have any faith. Uh, we barely defeated. Uh, thanks to that, I got warmed up. Hurry up. We're moving on to the Tower of Flano. It's back up there. Well, that's fine and dandy, but I've got shinies to collect, Miranda. Hold your horses. Black Rain. Okay, that's a spell. Might have to do a random fight to build up some stuff. Let me see. Oh, is there Stardust in this place? No, I don't think so, right? Mm, I don't think so, not until we get up to the top. I am going to have to do a random fight. Look. Uh-oh, what am I looking at? Is it another verge? Oh no, this is the Tower of Flanel. Flan... Bell. Flan Bell. It's the ruin where the moon mirror was placed. It's a swirl. Hmm, a gun. This doesn't seem to be built by humans. No, it's not. According to the legend, it was the Wingleys floating fort during the Dragon Campaign, or so I heard. This can fly? Wingleys in the past used to have enormous amount of magic power. Uh, then it wouldn't be strange if this much magic power can conceal, concealed in the divine Nuda objects. Hmm, for the people of Serdal, King Zur, and Princess Emil. No, this is a life or death matter for all of the Andes. That's even more of a reason. We must stop the ambitions of Lloyd here. But before we do, let me get some Dragoon power. <laughs> uh, although, uh, Lloyd is another fight because they've got the Dragon Buster still, I think. Oh, no. 
Alright guys, hurry up and take one of them out. I don't care which. That's an addition. That one's down. Because uh, we're trying to make sure everybody is built up. Or at least has a Dragoon level. That's true. We shouldn't build too high. I'll get them close to a Dragoon level this way. Oh, never mind. Congo just said no. We're going to end it. That's fine. It was just a warm-up, that's all. Rave Twister. Okay, they're giving us a lot of magic. That's fine. I will take the magic spells. A spirit ring. What's the spirit ring? Hmm, well it's a ring, so... Do, 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 do. Oh, recovers SP each turn. Sadly, don't think that's going to be useful right now. Uh, Maru might find that useful at some point. Two ways to go. I think. I'm looking at it right. Go this. Guess we have to go that way. Oh geez, it's like another one of those puzzle rooms. I think I'm out of charm potions. If not, we'll use it just to make room. Oh, never mind. It doesn't work here. Well, that's amazing. Oh, you have to pick. I'm going sideways? Very weird. Uh, probably skipped items doing that though, didn't I? Or no, there's an item. Maybe I went to the right spot. A mage ring. Oh jeez, I'm going to be checking my items every 10 seconds because I keep finding stuff. That's good though. The game doesn't give me a lot of uh, items. Ooh, now recovering mana every turn is a little more powerful for Maru. That looks like the very end. I don't want to go there just yet. I want to see what else you can find. That goes back here, that goes down there. Okay, that doesn't do anything for me. I think we have to figure out how to get up top. No, oh, that's just taking me right back to where I was. And that just goes back up and that goes there. That's where we came from. Yes. Okay, so there has to be a different entry point that I missed. I'm not even sure what we fight here. Enjoy the lurk, Mr. Watts. Thank you for visiting. I hope the rest of your day goes well. This thing has a lot of hit points. Stop it first and then we'll go after it. Hello, Hysteric. How are you doing, friend? Oh yeah, it's quite late for you, friend. I hope your stream went well. Did you finish Arrow? <laughs> the Acrobat? get through that dreadful game. <laughs> yes. 
Oh, I actually messed that up. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, and two, you're not having memory of this place, Hysteric. You're not too far from me because it was, you know, eight plus years ago I played this. I did remember an ice area. I don't remember the creatures. Oh, no, you still... <laughs> There's a round three of arrow? No. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, it's even in the title. You were last playing Arrow the Acrobat. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, it just wanted to drag you into day three of that game, didn't it? I forgot. I'm not using the new skills. I have the old ones on because I, I chickened out. I was missing too many times on the other. I can't see the targeting uh, square. It's so hard to tell if I'm actually going to hit it. Oh no, it broke its thing. Please tell me you got it, Maru. Yes. Yeah, it's not even day three. I played this a day before, I think, or two, and then left it. Oh, jeez. Anyway, what do you have planned for after Dragoon? I don't know. I'm thinking I will let the community vote on a selection of games. It's definitely going to be another PS1 title. Well, I say definitely PS1, but I also have two Dreamcast games that I'm thinking of. There's a title that I really liked on Dreamcast called Time Splitters. I was thinking of doing that one. Or Time... I don't remember now. Is it Time Splitters? That sounds like the shooter. It was a... There's a game on the Dreamcast uh, that was a dungeon crawler. And it was really good. Uh, thank you, Travis. And welcome in, friend. I hope your morning's going well. Yeah, Time Splitters is the... Maybe it was Time Shifters. It's very uh, thematic for our channel because it's about changing times and dimensions. Uh, it was very good and it made really good use of the little memory cards that came with the Dreamcast. Uh, time Splitters was... Yeah, that's right, because Fruity streamed it. Our friend Fruity Spruce plays that one and actually loves that game. Alright, let's see if I can do this again. Because we figured that those aren't going anywhere. Uh, it's the other puzzle. But yes, I'll probably replace Dragoon with another classic RPG title. I actually want to revisit Dragoon again for like a completions playthrough where I get all the additions at a later date, so it'll make a return to the channel. I do love this game, it's one of my favorite RPGs of all time. And then you got Front Mission 3, which I don't think I'll ever stop playing. It's just too good. I may move its time zone at some point, but I do like it. Oh wait, we can go back down now. Is that the one that I think it is? No, it's like a trap. It just goes there. Okay, that doesn't work. It's very weird of them to put that in. It didn't do anything. Ah, we made it. The moon mirror is in there. Oh, jeez. The dragoon spirit of the divine dragon is resonating. Lloyd. Finally, we have him cornered. Do we really? Do we really have the Sephiroth clone cornered for once? Well, Hysteric, I know it's late for you, so I'll just tell you to have a very good evening and sleep well, friend, in case I don't get to see you again. Are you going to try Arrow again tomorrow if you're still there? 
I'll dial in. I'll try to stick around and see if I can see actually beat it. I've never seen the end of that game. <laughs> never thought I would ever see the end of that game. Mm, nah, I'm gonna stick with the Phantom Shield. I don't know what this battle is like. I can't wait to see the end of that game. <laughs> uh, I can't... Yeah. As I, uh, I had said this in your chat, but... Uh, I believe my sister and I rented that when we were kids. Or my mom... My parents rented it for us, and uh, it didn't get played very long. I remember it was taken back, I think, almost immediately because we were yelling at the game and the screen. So the parents deemed it like that it was too hard, and it went back. I didn't get to play it very much. I do remember being highly frustrated by it, not liking the attacks, <laughs> and the fact that every single thing in the game was there to uh, destroy you and make you miserable. Now, do I, I can't remember if I actually fight Lloyd here. Maybe it's... No, I don't think you fight him until closer to the disc floor. Oh, well, there's our queen. Lloyd, where'd you get the armor? Oh, uh, maybe that's the armor he's been hiding this whole time. Well, now he looks more like a villain. I appreciate your cooperation. What? What are you? Lloyd. Here they are. I just got all three divine moon objects. Now the world will return, rebo be reborn into the utopia that the Emperor Diaz and I desire. The world will be reborn? What are you talking about? You should know, your majesty. The evolutionary plan created by the great will, so. And the flow of the evolution woven by the divine tree. You humans are merely the 106th in the plan. And we winglies, the 107th in the plan. I desire the 108th evolution. I desire a utopia created by the last species. For that, I will use every conceivable means. Lloyd, that's all you want to say? I'll let my sword say the rest. Shall we finish up? Okay, now I know this is a battle I can't transform, or at least I'm gonna guess, because Lloyd has the Dragon Buster that does extra damage to Dragoons, killed Lavitz, um, and dragons. So practically it's going to be a one-off uh, battle for hitting power. I'm tempted to use the speed item first, but let's open an attack and see how much damage we're going to get, if we damage at all. Interesting no counter from Lloyd. Uh, 442. Maru typically gets to go first, so I'm going to throw the speed up on Kongle to try and outbalance uh, Void's speed. I may have to turn one at a time into Dragoons for healing and maybe spells, but we'll see. Jeez, got missiles and everything. I'll throw spells at you too, Lloyd. You just wait. What I wouldn't do to have the Dragon Block Staff still. <laughs> oh gosh. The boss fight with a 10 minute uh, magic spell. That will be annoying if they throw this over and over. Kongle's still taking a lot of damage. Way more than I would have thought. Well. 
I hate to say this, but Cogwoys, I've been trying to make them useful. It's just not working well. I'm gonna negate that last spell though. All the damage they did with that last spell. Gone. I wonder what element hurts them the most. I've got plenty of Thunderbolts, can try those. That's a multi-hit, multi-hit. I thought I picked up a non-multi-hit that we could use. Ooh, Spectral Flash. Let's try that. Never liked using Kongle. Yeah, I love... Maru is actually my favorite character. Uh, Kongle, however, the magic damage they take late game is hard. Uh, that wasn't good. Thank you for the host. <clears throat> oh. That's not good. I'm gonna get a drink. <clears throat> Every playthrough, I've ignored Kongle, so I was giving them the benefit of the doubt in this one. And seeing what we could do with them. Rose is your favorite, I think. Yes. I think you did tell me that Rose was your favorite. Uh, I really, really like Rose because of her ability to dish out damage and heal. And I probably should have had Rose in this fight. <laughs> uh, I think they would have been a lot more useful than these characters. Jeez, 842 damage. I really don't want to stop using her for damage, though. That other ability did nothing. I still have other abilities to throw, though. We'll try another element. Castle, um, BGM. What is the castle? Did you? Oh, you mean at the castle? I do like the the uh, this queen emotes funny. Oh yeah, the music. Uh, if I remember correctly, it's not bad. I like all the music in Dragoon. I think there's only one location in the game I didn't like. Which I think is actually the, uh, it was one of the merchant towns that's kind of got an annoying one. That's your favorite song? Mine is the menu music, <laughs> if you couldn't tell. <laughs> I love the menu music. And what's the town in the port? Oh, geez, I lost sight of it again. The, the one ocean town, I like it too. Reminds me of Santorini. Oh, this, this is really bad. Kongol's just basically going to be our healer because I don't have anything else to do. Alright, full health. That's the last time I'll probably do full health. Thunderbolt didn't do anything. That last attack did hurt. So, maybe light is the one. Uh, yeah, honestly, it's great, but I used to keep a save file just to go and listen to the castle music. Oh, yeah, I remember the days of having save files for that. Uh, I did the same for the menu music. The TV was rather close to my bed when I slept as a kid, so I used to leave my PlayStation 1 on the menu music to fall asleep to it. Lloyd just keeps throwing spells that are like, take forever. I even worked on Coggle's magic defense before this, and it did nothing. Okay, Lloyd, now two attacks in a row. You're getting stingy there, friend. Too slow. 
Oh, and just automatically can dodge. Wait. So it's gonna cheat now, too. That's great. I complained about this in the last boss fight. I don't like that there's so many boss fights in this game that you can't be a Dragoon. Yeah, it'll come to me in a minute. I can't think of the name off the top, because you spend a lot of time in that town, actually. It was back on disc two. Oh, Congle Hearts are good. I should have completed that move. That would have been even better. Oh yeah, it just, it reminds me, I visited Santorini, uh, I've been there a couple times, and the blue, those bright blue roofs with the white adobe buildings, so pretty, very serene, but I can see why you like the castle, that's also a good one. Boy do I miss Labbits. <laughs> For some reason, after they replaced Labbits with uh, Albert, I can't use any of the moves. I know it sounds weird, but it's like they changed all of them. I feel like I'm just in a battle attrition at this point with Lloyd. I should have picked a different team. I have a save before it, so we may end up having to change out. Rose would have been a much better choice. But I wanted to use Congo. At least I wanted to try them. I don't think Rose would do anything, right? Worth a shot. Oh, wait a minute. I think I actually stunned him. No, it had to have broke, because he's a Dragoon, right? He's a Wingly Dragoon hybrid? Yeah, I don't think it works on them. At least Kongle can dish out damage. Right, I should sleep. Good night, Hysteric. Thank you for checking in. I hope your sleep is well, friend. Hello, Sonaris. Welcome in. Hope your day's going well. You know, we're making good progress on Lloyd, I think, for the most part, as long as we can stay alive and we don't turn into a Dragoon. So Dragoon Buster will auto-erase us. Now we're mounting damage on him. Of course, when we do that, it's going to start using AoEs. Is that a physical attack? I hope so. Because it doesn't do anything to Kongo. Yeah, good. Hit Kongo with physical attacks. I don't mind. And now Murrow's another story. That'll hurt. <laughs> that, that will hurt. Ooh, 800. Oh, dodging those moves, that's... See, that's directly, that's the game cheating. There's no point for that. It's definitely cheating. HP for all, half HP for all. How bad off are we? Eh, Moro could survive another hit. She's okay. I could guard just to see if I can block down on that. Actually, let me try something. It is basically a battle of attrition. I knew it. I was like, what? She's going to attack Kongol. Just take out that next move. It's a shame we can't stun this character, because we would have stunned them quite a few times already. Okay, so for some reason they auto-dodge Dart. I don't know why, but it's very irritating. 
That's fine, we'll just use Congo <laughs> to beat you down. Maru's been the saving grace of every single boss, I think, because <laughs> they're so fast. I came prepared, Lloyd. Okay, if you want to do this to us over and over and over, I'm just going to throw spells at you with Dart. I don't trust it. I think it's just cheating and not letting Dart get hits in, because they're the strongest character. I'll still take any damage I can get. I messed that up. I forgot. I thought it was one of the abilities that you don't have on. Didn't read it. Wearing you down, Lloyd. You're going to have to retreat. Because I don't believe we beat them here. Sonic Boom! <laughs> oh, I hit Dart with it. Alright. Hello, Willis! Welcome in, friend. Hope your day is going well. A laugh. Murrow's gonna take out Lloyd. With the 200 damage hits. Lloyd just did not know how fast Maru was. What other spells do we have? I know Dart's not much for throwing spells, but why not? It's better than having Lloyd dodge it every 10 seconds, go, uh, I dodged it, uh, I dodged it. Yeah, I'll take that. It's mostly damage per minute at this point anyway. Oh, it's the long animation. I can look away from the screen. <laughs> this one takes a while. Do, 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 do. I can emote while I'm doing this. Thank you for the hydrate, Nim. I can do that because this animation takes like five minutes. It's okay. I think Lloyd's just about done after that. And if I really wanted to, I can turn into a Dragoon with Maru at the very least. trying to think. Dragoon or to heal everyone just in case they have a trick up their sleeve and they heal. Because that's my only concern. I know that they can do a lot of damage with that sword. Nah. I think I won't do that. I think we'll just keep beating on them because they're they've been red for a while. I was right. I was like, yeah, I think they're just about over. Of course, they're going to pull the classic bad guy I get out of jail free card. Come on, Lloyd, put the buster sword away for a minute. <laughs> Get him, Dart! Get him! Lloyd overestimated themselves, I believe.
Oh, girl, why did you do that? Ugh. Oh. And for the shock of everything, please forgive Lloyd. There's actually, I don't have any forgiveness for Lloyd. I know there's people who like the redemption thing, but Lloyd took out Lavitz. I haven't forgiven them for that. <laughs> Let's all remember that as we play the game. No matter what's revealed about Lloyd, they murdered Lavitz. <laughs> Why she jumped in front of Lloyd to save them. Albert, don't you need to be upstairs? Lloyd killed Lavitz. I trust Dart with everything. He will bring us the right answer. I agree. I feel the same way. Ditto. Lloyd's a poo-poo head. Yeah, I kind of agree. And technically, because he tricked this girl into liking him, and she just got killed by Dart, he's responsible for her death now, too. <laughs> oh, he also unleashed the Divine Dragon on Denigrad, so everybody who died in Denigrad. Why did you shield me? I took many people's lives away from my own ideal and the divine moon objects. Okay, you're just coming to this realization. I used you. Even if it is the truth, the fact that you saved me is still true. Besides, your death won't solve anything. Shauna was taken away. What did you say? By the man named Emperor Diaz. He told us to bring the three divine moon objects and Lloyd and come to the Veldweb. Hmm. Emperor Diaz finally has begun to take action by himself. Now, take them to him. Even without me, my utopia will be built by Emperor Diaz. I completed all of my tasks. Now I have to settle up for what I've done so far. Kill me and go to the Velweb. I dedicate my death to your departure. Well, at least we got that. He straight up both a uh, murderer and a murderer by proxy. <laughs> uh, honestly, Willis, he's, he's quite... He, he did in a lot of people. You know, but they're trying to spell it out that it's uh, forgiveness for all, which I do like the idea, but yeah, Lloyd's a monster. <laughs> I mean, kind of was competing with Sephiroth there for who can be the most heinous villain. Is it out of pity? Your death won't bring... Anybody who died back. Lloyd, I'm gonna make you see it through to the end. Passion. Is this the power that drives them? Thankfully, we didn't kill Wink. I didn't think so. I was like, wait, did Wink die? Because I couldn't remember that part. And I was like, mm, no. Dart's a pretty good swordsman. I would expect them to be able to at least pull back at the last second if they had to, but it is a heavy sword. Yeah, but that fight went a lot better than fighting all their wingly pals. Mostly because I actually heeded John's advice and don't, don't fight. <laughs> Lloyd Wise got a buster sword while you're dragooned. I did it. I did it. Shauna was, I see. When we go there, we can reveal the truth about Emperor Diaz. Whoever he is, is dangerous. 
Uh, besides, it is unforgivable to take our dear Sh Shona as a hostage for his utopia or whatever it is. Exactly. I'll beat him up, whoever he is. Queen Thresa, we are heading to Velwa. And we need the moon. I understand. I will let you have the moon mirror. Maybe we were in denial, surrounding ourselves with a comfortable life that we really was stagnant. Yes, we humans are not the only species, and all species were given life by Sora's plan. Now is the time to remember. The assault of the divine dragon, the existence of the winglies, the divine moon objects, the utopia that Lloyd and Emperor Diaz desire, and you, Dragoons, everything is forcing us to remember it, as if things were manipulated by some great will called fate. Even so, I don't care. I'll take Shona back, even if, even from fate. Miranda, you are one of the Dragoons. Go with Dot. Discover the meaning of the fate given by so. Can we at least arrest Lloyd, please? <laughs> He's still a monster. Let me have his buster sword. <laughs> yeah, here it is. C can I ask you one question? Well, what's that? I want your sword. <laughs> please give me the buster sword. Well, it's not a buster sword. It's a dragon buster sword, but still. I want it. Yes. Why did you say wink twice? I had no reason for doing that. I see. Got all the moons. Look at that. Hmm. What a way to end this one. We actually got all the moon objects. Hey, that was our original goal from the beginning of the game. Uh, yeah, so, so, can, can I have your sword? That's all I keep saying to Lloyd the whole time we're traveling together. Hey, hey, can I have your sword? No, please, please. I spared your life. Can I have your sword? How many times do I have to tell you no? Uh, we didn't get anything fancy for that other than storyline completion. Wah. Oh well. <laughs> oh, and they're gonna make me fight my way out of here. Oh. Uh. It's okay. Gotta do in elephants again. Oh my gosh, my team is just... Wow. I mean, that's not hard to fix once we get to the other, so I'm not worried about that. Yeah, of course you don't miss the big elephant. Miss Lloyd every 10 seconds. She has mana, doesn't she? Yeah. This will seem a little odd, but I don't know what we're going to encounter right after the ice area, so I just want to heal everyone real quick without spending more items. And since Muru has that nifty ability and gets her SP built up so fast, might as well. That way we don't have to worry about it if we come back into another, like... I don't think there's any more boss fights just yet. We've got to get to disc four, I think. you got to go to Vellum and then disc four. Rainbow light! It's 
like a Sailor Moon uh, thing. <laughs> Very appropriate. Yeah, and you can't move. Oh, for shame. Yay, that was very convenient. Because now the team is fully healed. Just gonna get to that save. Okay, so the team is healed up. Otherwise, I mean, we're down on items. That, that's the worst part. I have to get to the shops. And I never did find the other merchants. Oh, wait, there was an item back there, wasn't there? I only, like, out of the corner of my eye, did I see wrong? We missed that. Fatal Blizzard. Hmm. I don't know what it does, but... We drained all our magic, so probably a good idea to keep picking up items. Oh, I do know where the other brothers are. The, the other store... I think we have to go back down and around up to the uh, top part. Stunned, I believe. I'm going to take everything out very quickly. Yeah, we've got it. Oh, that was well played. So yeah, we just got to get to Vellum. Uh, very proud with what we got done. I know it's kind of a short stage there in the ice area. We'll explore it a little bit more probably. Do, do. Almost noon, almost lunchtime. I had to get an item first. Uh, but I am satisfied because we finally got rid of Lloyd. Well, I mean, we didn't quite get rid of Lloyd, but in the storyline sense of things, I think they're, they stopped being such a menace. Now, I'm not 100% sure. I'll look it up just to be sure before the next episode. Uh, but I do believe... We can go, there's another store here, hidden. And then we have to do Vellum, uh, which is just a, it's like a little temple we've gotta go to. And there's one more Stardust there. I thought I would make it there today, but the boss fight was rather drawn out. I mean, it's not bad, we did two boss fights. Vellweb, Vellweb, Vellum, Vellum, Vellum. Don't mind me, I have the worst ability to take a word, see it completely wrong, uh, and mispronounce it. Yes. Velweb. And I had read that there was one Stardust there before, so that's fine. I can, we'll get that. I don't know, we have a couple more minutes. I wonder if I can get up there before it's, uh, because I kind of want to see if I can get this. The brothers said there was another two people here that sell stuff. And I think there is. Let me check. Because we couldn't go there before because Miranda was like, no, you're not allowed to go there. Those two. Who? Uh, let me check real quick. I don't think I can buy too much from them at this point. No, 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 no. I didn't need the item. 
Yeah, look, Primero and Tercero are somewhere around. Drop in on them, will you? Is this the item shop? Yes. For those of you who know, I kind of cheat myself because I get uh, irritated at the boss fights. So I buy lots of um, healing potions. <laughs> uh, if you've played this game before, you can't really blame me. I only ever hold one sun. I, I don't need that that often, but eh, they come in handy every now and then. Uh, let's see. I want to see who is on. So we're going to wrap things up there. I've had a very good day. I hope all of you enjoyed that. We got through two boss fights in a row. This ice area, it just took a long time to get to that area. Uh, now this is strange and something that I never thought would happen. I actually get to raid John. They were just in here, but they must have decided to uh, play Dragoon. I'm completely fine with that because I had no plans for today. Oh, that's lovely. So we're, we're going to go and see John. <laughs> uh, thank you, Nim, for posting the Twitter. Best way to keep up with us uh, is on Twitter. And the raid messages. Uh, John is an 18 plus channel. Typically, they know me so well that when I go over to their channel, they're not so bad, but I would just like to give that warning and heads up ahead of time. But otherwise, you guys know John. Lovely person. They mod for us. I'll put this in the chat for those who are lurking and maybe have me muted so they can at least see that we are going to an 18 plus channel. And the reason... There's two reasons for this. I mean, I love John. I didn't think that I would be able to ever raid them. Uh, they normally stream at midnight. But with nothing else to do with the day and the kids are away, I guess they're going to be playing. And it's great because they're doing Dragoon. So you might get to see that same fight from a different perspective. So I believe that's really fun. And just the fact that I'll actually be able to raid someone who typically uh, only streams late at night. So why don't we go pay John a visit? I believe they're either just a little ahead of me or right about the same point. Thank you guys for joining me. It was a good Dragoon session. Uh, I will be back later tonight around 5 p.m. Eastern. Probably to do... Uh, Minecraft. I thought I had this muted. Why is that going? Okay, I unmuted on accident. Everybody enjoy your time over at John's. Uh, they're doing more Dragoon. End title will go over. Have a lovely day.